Hey y'all, go to the fight here, talking about how we are supposed to calculate our seasons, our years, our days, our months, and our holy day seasons. There is a lot of confusion about how we are supposed to calculate these days because there is many people who want to talk about the calculations of the seasons somehow without using the scripture. When you look over here at the scripture, at what it says in the very first chapter of our Bibles, in chapter one of the book of Genesis, we can see that the creator intended for us to use the sun and the moon and the rest of the stars in order to calculate our seasons and days and years. Verse 14 says, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Now, in a previous video, we showed you how using the barley season or the barley harvest season is incorrect in calculating anything to do with days, months, seasons, years, or anything. Where people are getting this from is over there in the book of Exodus chapter 9 and verse 31 where we're talking about the plagues that were being put on Pharaoh and Egypt. The plague of hell was the seventh plague put on Pharaoh. But since it talks about the barley harvest being smitten during that plague, how it was in season, people used this in error to calculate the Passover. And so they're using this one verse to calculate the seasons. And that's why you see them all over the place when they're calling feast days. Some have Passover starting in the summertime. Some have Pentecost starting after the Feast of Tabernacles. We were never told to use the barley harvest to calculate anything. And if anybody else had a picked up the scripture and tried to use the barley harvest to calculate their year, they would have been completely off during the sabbatical years because they wouldn't have had a barley crop at all. We were never told to use the barley harvest to calculate anything. Looking back over here at chapter one of the book of Genesis, we see that we were told to use the lights in the firmament to calculate our days, seasons. In years. The thing is, we just have to find the Holy Scripture that tells us how to do so. Now, when you look over at the book of Enoch, which were the first books ever written on the planet Earth, you see in chapter 1 that he tells us how to use these luminaries in order to calculate our years. In chapter 72, he tells us how to use the moon in order to calculate our months. But let me read verse 1 over here in chapter 72. It says, The book of the courses of the luminaries of the heavens, the relations of each according to their classes, their dominion and their seasons, according to their names and places of origin, and according to their months, which Uriel, the holy angel, who was with me, who is the guide showed me and he showed me all their logs exactly as they are and how it is with regard to all the years of the world. So you have to know who Enoch was. You see right here in chapter five of the book of Genesis. Verse 22 says, and Enoch walked with God. Now, understanding how the word God and Lord are used in the Bible. This is confirming what the book of Enoch says over here when he, when he says, which Uriel, the holy angel, who was with me. Enoch walked with angels. Enoch was taught by angels. Enoch was taught by the righteous angels while the fallen angels were teaching Cain's people how to make war, how to commit abortions, and a whole lot of other things. Enoch was learning how the solar system worked, how the days are supposed to be calculated, how the months are supposed to be calculated, as well as the years. 
Now, I have been studying the relationship between the luminaries and the sacred calendar for over 25 years now. You can find several classes that we've done on our channel by searching for Enoch calendar. So as a brief summary to show how the luminaries are used to determine our seasons, let's just pull out a few verses from the book of Enoch chapter 72 and 73. In chapter 72 verses 7 through 10 we see how the year is calculated. It tells us in so many words that the beginning of the year falls after the spring equinox. You see right there where he says the days become longer and the nights shorter if you read down further in chapter 72 it will tell you how in the 12th month the days and the nights are equal. So in essence the father's calendar starts with spring. This is how we start the beginning of the year. Now in order to know the beginning of the month you have to jump down to chapter 73 verses 7 through 8. It explains how the months begin with the first visible crescent of the new moon. So the first month of the year would begin with the first sighting of the moon after the spring equinox. And to round it off we jump back to the book of Revelations that tells us that our days begin in the evening time at sunset when approximately 99% of all humans are awake unless they work the night shift or are sick. And so our forefathers using this information would go out each month to get a glimpse of the first light of the moon each month. They would blow trumpets letting everybody in the community know that the new moon had been sighted and that at that day that it just started at sunset was the beginning of a new month and that is how the sacred calendar works. Independent of a barley harvest season which could be altered due to too much rain or not enough rain, too much sun or not enough sun, bad seed, improper planting practices or a number of other variables that can throw the harvest season off by days, weeks, and even months. This is how we were supposed to calculate our seasons, not barley harvest seasons or any other harvest season. So my question to those guys that want to use the barley harvest season, why, why and how have you gotten away from what the scripture says? Why have you found the scripture invalid and have gone on to create your own idea of when the season starts? Why was chapter 1 of the book of Genesis not good enough? Why is the sun and the moon not good enough? Why was the scripture found inadequate enough that you had to create your own methods? And more importantly, why are you getting it wrong so often? 